Hi, and welcome to Stories of the Saints. On April 2nd, we celebrate the feast day of St. Francis of Paola. St. Francis of Paola was a man who deeply loved spiritual solitude and wished only to be the least in the household of God. Yet, when the church called him to become an active member in the world, he became a miracle worker and influenced the course of many nations. After accompanying his parents on a pilgrimage to Rome and Assisi, he began to live as a hermit in a remote cave near Paola on the Italian southern coast. Before he was 20, he received the first followers who had come to imitate his way of life. 17 years later, when his disciples had grown in numbers, Francis established a rule for his community and sought the church's approval. Hermits of St. Francis of Assisi, who were approved by the Holy See in 1474. In 1492, Francis changed the name of his community to Minimums, which is known as least in the household of God. Humility was to be the hallmark of the brothers as it has been Francis's personal life. Besides the vows of poverty, chastity, obedience, Francis enjoyed upon his followers the fourth obligation of perpetual Lenten fasting. He felt that heroic mortification was necessary as a means to grow closer with God. It was Francis's desire to be a spiritual hermit, yet he believed that God was calling him to be an apostolic life. He began to use the gifts he had received such as the gift of miracles and prophecies to minister the people of God. A defender of the poor and oppressed, Francis gained an unwelcoming wrath from King Ferdinand of Naples and his sons. Following the request of Pope Sixtus IV, Francis traveled to Paris to help Louis XI of France prepare for his death. While ministering to the king, Francis was able to influence the course of politics. He helped to restore peace between France and Britain by advising that the families get married and between France and Spain by persuading Louis XI to return some disputed land. Francis later died while at the French court. The life of Francis of Paola speaks plainly to our overactive world. He was a contemplative man who, called, who was called to an active ministry and must have felt the tension between prayer and service. Yet, in Francis's life, it was a productive tension which came to involve the working of nations. He responded so readily and so well to the call of the church from a solid foundation of prayer and mortification. When he went out to the world, it was not he who worked, but Christ who worked through him. The least in the household of God. If you like this video about St. Francis of Piola, please press the like button. And if you'd like to learn more about the saints, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to become a premium member and watch cinematic movies about the saints, you can go to thechristianchannel.com and support us by subscribing to our yearly streaming service, watchable on your smart TV. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.